Hi, this is Bill Kenny, and I'm here to help you upload a video onto a video hosting site. If you don't have slides, we recommend using YouTube. Most people have Gmail accounts, so it's easy to access. If you've recorded onto your phone, you'll use the share function to share with YouTube, or if it's on your laptop or you've transferred it to your laptop, you'd use the upload function on YouTube to draw the file from your laptop onto YouTube. Once the file's up, YouTube will walk you through the process, but you give your file or your video a name, a description, and so on. And then there are three privacy settings. We'd suggest either using public or unlisted. If you use the totally private setting, or what's called private, our site will not display your video. That's because you've asked it to be private. And so unless you give someone permission, they don't have access to it. So either use the public or unlisted, and unlisted simply means it's not searchable, which for most of us is going to be as private as, as pretty much anything can get. And then after you're done with that, just hit save and your video will be finalized onto YouTube. If you are using slides, we recommend that you use present.me. This allows you to be on the screen along with your slides, which is a really nice feature and it certainly helps the person doing the review. If you do use present.me, it's in a lot of ways similar to YouTube, but there is some added features in that your slides need to be uploaded as well. So you upload your slides. You actually can record your video right on present.me, or you can upload the video, either one. And then the same as YouTube, you're putting in your name and description of the video, et cetera. The one glitch in the privacy side with um, present.me is that it is free to have a public video, but you need to subscribe to create any level of privacy of that video, to have it unlisted or private or totally private, you'd need to subscribe. So again, for most of us being public with these videos, they're pitch videos, they're not generally, they don't have a lot of proprietary information in them. So being public is not too terrible. And of course, if you don't give it a description and you don't put in any taxonomy for search, then the likelihood that your video is going to be found is pretty limited. And then of course you hit save and your video is ready to go. We think you'll find either of these platforms great for hosting your video. And certainly once you have a video that you really like, the nice thing about being on either of these platforms is the videos will be very shareable and marketable from those sites. So it's a really added advantage with this process.